chili crisp, people. It's spicy, salty, and crunchy, and you can use it on anything. Sandwiches, soups, stews, even your pizza. Freaking awesome. Chili Crisp is a fragrant, tasteful oil that you can store in your fridge for up to a month. The great thing about it is that you can cook for your family and friends, as well as your kids, and keep this on the side so those who want to kick up their meal a notch with some spice can just add it to their plate. Let's get started. We're gonna start by dicing the garlic, the shallot, and the serrano peppers. I have three garlic cloves that I'm gonna dice up. We are gonna cook all of this so it does not have to be very finely chopped. I have one shallot that I'm gonna chop. And I have two serrano peppers that I'm going to chop. Can you use jalapenos? Any pepper you want in this. A lot of people use dry chilies. That adds a whole two, three extra steps. I really got into this recipe because it's really quick and delicious. And you can control the heat depending on what kind of hot peppers you want to put in it. I'm going to deseed them because the seeds actually get mushy. Guys, don't rub your eyes after you cut this. And a lot of people use a glove, at least on the hand that holds it. So like Daniel's left hand. Definitely wash your hands and try not to rub your eyes. Again, I am rough chopping all of these ingredients because they're going to simmer in oil for about 30 minutes. That's it, guys. That's all the prep we need. Let's go to the stove. I have safflower oil, and I'm using one and a half cups. Now, we're just going to bring it up to temperature. We're not frying anything, but we are going to cook things until they get really crispy. I'm going to test the oil to see if it's ready. It'll sizzle when it's ready. So it's starting to get there. So that's the shallot garlic and serranos. I added one tablespoon of peppercorns. I used a combo of white, black, and red. But uh, they can use black peppercorns, which is the easiest to find. Red peppercorns will give you a little bit different color and a little more heat, and the white is actually pretty spicy as well. I'm also going to add one cinnamon stick as well as five anise pods, star anise pods. The cinnamon and the anise pods are absolutely optional. They add a nice layer of flavor, but they're not necessary. The shallot, the garlic, and the serrano, as well as the peppercorns, are fine. Now I'm going to lower this to low and let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, let's set the timer. So it's been 20 minutes and it still looks a little not crunchy and browned. So we are going to put another 10 minutes on this and come back. Here we go, people. Look at that. Now that is the brown, crunchy, crispy that I want. So I've turned it off. I've gotten the color I like. The smell is out of this world. And I'm just gonna let it sit and so the, until the oil stops sizzling. You can see the little bubbles. I'm just gonna let it calm down. Once it calms down, I'm gonna strain all these bits out of the oil. I'm gonna strain the oil into a heat resistant container. <laughs> Not plastic. <laughs> Glass would be preferable. We're gonna do it over our cutting board, but feel free to do it over your sink. Very careful, please. It's very hot oil. So we are separating the oil and the crunchy bits because we want these crunchy bits to cool down on their own so they stay crunchy and salty and yummy. Set your oil aside so it continues to cool. Our crunchy bits are set aside. They're cooling separately. And now you want to get your jar. We have a 32 ounce ball jar. If this is too much of a recipe that you want to commit to trying, just cut it directly in half. We're actually going to create all of the chili crisp in this jar and easily stored in your fridge. So in our fancy jar, we're gonna put a teaspoon of sugar, a tablespoon of paprika. If you want something a little hotter, you can add a little cayenne to that tablespoon of paprika and a quarter cup of red chili flakes. Ooh, it's a lot of chili flakes. Yeah, baby. And last but not least, one tablespoon of soy sauce. So now I'm gonna reconstitute with the oil. The oil is still a little hot to touch, but that's okay for this part because we kind of want to open up these spices with the warm oil. Let it cool for another minute or two because it's already, as you change containers, it cools down very quickly. It's been about four or five minutes. I'm going to remove the cinnamon stick as well as the anise seed pods. It's good to count those. I think we had five. Why do you take the cinnamon and the anise out? Those flavors become very strong and that's not the point of this. We just want, want them to be a, a layer flavor. Now we're going to slowly add this back. They're so crisp. Crispy, almost burnt, but they're not. And there you have it. Guys, this is it. The chili crisp is done. I'm gonna put a lid on it, throw it in the fridge, and I'm gonna start using it on everything. And it smells amazing.